And that breaking news, Lisa Marie Presley has died. That's according to the Associated Press. She was Elvis Presley's only child and was a singer herself. Paramedics were dispatched to Lisa Marie's home in Calabasas this morning for a report of a woman in full cardiac arrest. Her mother, Priscilla Presley, released a statement saying her beloved daughter had been rushed to the hospital. Lisa Marie Presley is survived by three children. She was 54 years old. The 54-year-old, who seemed to struggle a bit Tuesday night at the Golden Globes, was rushed to the ER this morning after suffering cardiac arrest. Full arrest. EMTs responded to her home outside L.A. where they performed CPR and reportedly administered epinephrine, a stimulant usually used when CPR and defibrillators cannot get a pulse. Sheriffs tell ET they were able to get a pulse and transport her to the hospital. The cause of Lisa Marie's heart trouble is unknown, but back in 2018, the star revealed her past battle with drug addiction. I was not happy. And by the way, the struggle in addiction for me started in, you know, 45 years old. Cut to Tuesday night. She was overcome with emotion after Austin Butler won Best Actor for Elvis. Lisa Marie, Priscilla, I love you forever. Tech two. I mean, we've got the family in here. Come on up. <laughs> hey Lisa, how are you? I just, I just thought, what I photo bomb you? No, 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 it's perfect. So what was it like watching Austin on stage and during this movie and the making of this movie? It was mind blowing, <laughs> truly mind blowing. I really didn't know what it, what to do with myself after after I saw it. Yeah. I I had to take like five days to process it mm -hmm. because it was so incredible and so spot on and so authentic that, yeah, I, I can't even describe w what it we, meant. We just celebrated your dad's birthday a couple days ago. So what does it mean to you to be here tonight, you know, in just a couple days after his birthday, celebrating him again in a way that the masses are saying, we see you? I, you know, I'm just so proud of it all. Um, you know, it's all flowing really nicely together. I'm going to have the birthday right now. And, you know, I'm here to support Austin and Baz on the film. And I'm so excited. And I hope he wins, you know. He deserves it. We don't have to eat any shoes. Not but yet. He, Not, but yet. He Not yet. We're waiting for that one. Perhaps that just as Austin speaks of Elvis's spirit, one of our camera crew's lights spontaneously powers down. The lights just blow. As we're going into twilight mode here. As you say, spirit, he's Coincidence or not, Lisa Marie says Butler came to embody her famous father, a feat she says no other actor has been able to achieve. It's almost as if he channeled him. He, he puts everything he had, his heart, soul, everything he had into researching and reading and watching and learning and he honored him in every way possible that you could possibly honor him. In the beginning, he felt so far away. And then as I worked on it and sp spent that year and a half before I was actually filming, it began to feel like actually the most personal thing I could possibly imagine. You're looking for trouble? You came to the right place. I'm sure your bar was very high, too, in terms of somebody portraying, you know, a figure like your father. <clears throat> yes, the bar was high. And I wasn't expecting a lot. The first time I saw the film, I watched just gripping my chair, scared to death. You know, Baz, I love him to death, but he's a wild man, wild card. You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what Baz is doing. I didn't know who Austin yet. And I was like, I don't know what I'm in for. It turned out what she was in for was a surprise. Elvis's daughter, arguably the toughest audience imaginable, overcome. I let go of the chair about halfway through, and I was like, okay, I can breathe. Okay, okay. I believe I can be great, too. I really wasn't expecting it. I was expecting to be disappointed. What was it that made you let go of the chair? The charisma, the commitment. This one. <laughs> <laughs> It's him. I feel so protective of him. I don't want anybody hurting him. I don't want people, you know, saying anything about him or it in a negative way. You know, because I'm like, no, come see me and talk to me about it. <laughs>
Do you have any problems? It's a pretty good review, Austin. I don't even know what to say. I, um, no, there's no review in my life that will ever mean more than that. Sweet thing. He's such a sweetheart. Do you feel like the creative choices, the courageous choices you made were influenced in some way by his example? I feel like my general spirit is kind of in that sort of vein of... <laughs> I would say yes. <laughs> I'll let her answer her. that. <laughs> let her answer that one. I would say, uh huh. <laughs> How would you describe that spirit? Rebellious. You know, I think it's it's in the bloodline. Yes, to the point where my own children are like, "Mom, stop, <laughs> stop. What are you doing? Don't say that. You can't say that. You can't do that." Most parents are re worried about their rebellious young people. Yes. You're worried about your rebellious mom. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Riley, you are having the kind of career as an actor that he sort of always talked about having. You are doing exactly what you want to do. You are taking challenging projects that are entirely up to your choice. And this was the thing that he dreamed of doing. You're living out his dream. How does that feel? I mean, you know, all I can hope is that he is proud of, you know, me and, and my mom and our whole family, um, wherever he is. Does it feel like you're carrying like a special legacy in addition to the wonderful that you've done? Um, I haven't actually felt that. I think because I'm a generation removed, it's been a little bit different for me than I think for my mom. I think it was much harder for her. Um, or she kind of felt that pressure more than I did. I also went into an entirely different career. So I think there's a little bit of separation, but um, I mean, you can't compare yourself to Elvis.